Hey, my name is Gabriela Diaz. I'm from Texas and I am a Republican voter against Trump. The traditional Hispanic values I was raised on, in addition to values that I have developed over the course of my life, were at one point enshrined in the Republican Party. I don't think Trump is a Republican as much as he is an opportunist, and I didn't vote for him in 2016. However, I think I had an enthusiastic attitude, and I took our democracy for granted because I never thought that we would be here in a million years, and I didn't vote for anybody that year. But at this point, I am sufficiently traumatized, and when I wake up on November 4th, I want to be sure that I did everything I could this time around. So I have donated, I have volunteered, and I run an Instagram called Country Over Party 2020 for Biden Republicans. And I'm voting against Donald Trump because he is everything that we are not as Americans. We need somebody in the White House who shares our values and ideals as a country. Whether you're a Democrat or a Republican or something else, we can all agree that we have a shared identity through our long-standing ideals, and Trump has betrayed most of these ideals, if not all of them. One that I find important is that all men are created equal. And aside from expressly saying that he does not think all men are created equal, he shows us the same through his actions. Trump has trampled over our Constitution and before he became president, we knew what it meant to be the United States of America. We didn't have a president who encouraged attacks on sitting U.S. governors. The what I would call vanilla ISIS plot against the governor Gretchen Whitmer was disgusting. And it made me sick to my stomach. And quite frankly, I'm sick of Trump and his supporters and their bigotry, their hatred, and their ignorance. I'm sick of their antisocial tendencies to loathe people who are knowledgeable, intelligent, and responsible. I'm ready for some semblance of leadership again. I prefer presidents who, uh, who have a healthy amount of self-awareness and can learn from their past mistakes. Trump has an inflated view of his capabilities and a complete denial of his weaknesses. It seems like he is um, more concerned with looking like the smartest guy in the room as opposed to doing what's best for us as a country. And we can all agree that we don't elect presidents because we think that they should be subject matter experts at absolutely everything or that they have some innate knowledge of the best possible course of action at all times. We want them to tap into their advisor networks. We want them to learn, to listen, and to ask questions. But instead we have Trump who cannot take any criticism. And as a result, he surrounds himself with nothing but the most spineless yes men. Instead of embracing expertise from people like Dr. Fauci, he feels threatened and he goes on attack mode. And we saw that play out this week. I also prefer presidents who have visions for our country, a well articulated and a well thought out vision. Trump can't even get us through the current pandemic, let alone tackle long, long term um, issues our country is facing. His plan for making America great again is a mystery to all of us. He can only list out problems and um, says that only he can fix them, but he won't tell us how, and that's what's most concerning to me. I would also like to see somebody in the White House who isn't a snowflake. Trump has a complete victim mentality, and I've never seen a grown man whine as much as he does. He's constantly pointing fingers, complaining, and um, crying about something. It's always somebody else's fault. He is unable to look at the outcomes of his failures and strategize and do better next time, or at least not make the same mistake twice. 
and any effort to pin him to role standards or ethics is seen as grossly unfair by him or as some personal vendetta. I want a president who is mature, somebody who does not create nicknames for his political opponents. Trump's a 74-year-old man who um, tweets out the most crude, childish nonsense. He indulges in his emotions like a child when he could be optimizing our lives as Americans. And we've been watching this sad trick for nearly four years now, and it's no longer shocking. And I think that's why it's not working anymore. I think more people are beginning to realize that beneath the bluster, there's nothing worthwhile whatsoever. There's no strength, there's no warmth or integrity. There's no leadership skills. I also would like a president who does not ruin everything he touches. I've never seen somebody with the ability to destroy everything he touches, but Trump has managed to do just that. He's a political arsonist. He's destroyed the GOP, countless careers, our economy, he spends 22% of his time golfing. He spends like seven hours a day watching Fox News. He's constantly tweeting out the most crude nonsense. He has never prepared for anything and um, he doesn't even read his daily briefings. If this was any other leadership position, he would be fired by now and probably sued by shareholders. So I hope you will join me in voting Trump and his enablers out of office. This includes senators who have been spineless. In my case, I'm voting John Cornyn out and voting MJ Hagar in. I hope that we as a nation can be supportive of our new leaders. Um, I hope that we can rally behind them. And yes, clearly hold their feet to the fire. We elect them for a reason, but I pray that we can be realistic and realize that they are inheriting a dumpster fire that Trump has lit. And they have the pleasure of starting their administration with that.